Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can. And they continue with Strangeland Blind. Uh, last time I acquired th this rat, so let's try feeding it to the dog. I guess dead rat's not its thing. Okay, so it's, it's not interested. So I don't really know what to do because um, like I guess I could try jumping into the well but it seems uh, it seems it has been described to me as something that's fatal oh actually I wanted to right click and I left click, so I guess he ju he did jump inside. Mm. What happened? Hmm. And I guess he reformed at the very beginning, which I guess mm, the game did tell me that dying is actually some sometimes required for progression and might actually help you instead of hinder you, so I shouldn't be afraid to explore all of those possibilities. Just some rocks. Okay, I'll take the rocks. Uh, maybe be useful as far as throwing them at something goes. Mm. Not this again. Here's one for you. Man sitting in his doctor's office. Doc says and now, here's the good news. Man says, Doc, you didn't even tell me the bad news. Doc says, not this again. <laughs> what? I, I don't think I get that joke. Hello? Leave me alone. I already told you a joke. Okay. Hmm. I don't have a quarter. Pick either direction, but definitely go left, I guess. Like, I, I don't think I'm quick enough I imagine. to get through this. Yeah, this is this is not going to happen without a handicap of some sorts. Like, I'm far too lame Neoplasm. to do that. Hmm. Hey, star. Can I maybe throw the rock at the raven? Like, that's a bit of a cruel thing to do. Uh, but maybe something interesting is going to happen. Line this shot up. My beak. Beak. Hmm. Hmm. He has written something. It says beak. This could be useful. Seashore. I've got no use for them. Hmm. Will he say different things? If I throw a stone at different areas of the raven's body? My wing. Huh? Wing? It's illegible. G is the cruelest letter. 
for a blind man to write. It's illegible. Hmm. My claws! Did you say claws? It says claws. Hmm. So maybe I can use them to to tell the forge that I wanted to make oh, me no. uh, a, a certain item, such as claws or a beak. I should show it to eight three. First, lay a worthy oar upon the anvil. Hmm. That's not going to work. First. Okay, so I need some material as well. And this is blocked by the dog, and seemingly there's nothing else around here. At least from what it looks like. It's not operational. Ah! I have to kill it. big switch in the on position. Hmm. Maybe I can throw a rock at it to turn it? Didn't work. Okay, didn't work. I don't need the target practice. Electrifying. Hmm. He's 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 uh, seemingly. Crow's flying along. Sees a crab eating some lady. Crow squawks. What are you doing? She's not even dead yet. Crab scuttles off. Next day, crow's flying along. Sees the crabs at it again. I thought I told you to scram. He says. Crab says, take another look. Crow looks at the lady and just says, Carry on! Get it? <laughs> hmm. This head is seemingly not very good at jokes, but the protagonist himself is, is, is surprisingly sort of chill with the idea of dying over and over Sticks again. And stones will make me groan. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. All right, all right, I'll talk. So, uh, who or what are you? I just am, because I think. Really? What are you? A raven, lunatic. Where are we? Baked in a pie, I'd guess. Do you just sit there, watching every time that woman kills herself? Aw, oh, don't get so bent out of shape. That little slip and fall didn't do her any harm. But she killed herself! Don't take it so literally, boss. Believe me, if she were dead, I'd be eating her eyes. As you might have noticed, death is different here. Puts a poor raven out of work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Interesting. Are you sure you're not a crow? Look, I may be unkind, but I'm not murderous. And I croak rather than caw. 
Plus, I fly in a pair, not in a flock. Raven. Definitely Raven. That is actually fascinating to me. You know, the, the names for some of the groups of animals in English. Like, because what she said is a, is a pun. Because uh, a group of crows is literally called a murder of crows. Which I find to be incredibly metal and cool and sort of grimdark. Uh, and a group of ravens is called an unkindness of ravens, which again is very weird but kind of cool. What can you tell me about the dark thing? I'm a raven, not a rat. Go ask somebody else. What did you mean? Death is different here. It means I'll not carry in comfort down there, feast on thee. Goodbye. Okay, let's ask for an advice. Just to see how it works. I knew you'd call. See, this isn't our first ride on the merry-go-round. And even though I can't hear you, I'll always know what you need. You need her. What's killing her? Can you stop it? Can you even face it? Hmm. That's literally not helpful at all. Would it be different? You ever heard of a white lie? What could be a better example than telling an old man that a raven is a dove? Hmm. Okay, so he's advising me to lie to the blind man about the doves. Now, I feel that's wrong and a little bit... Like, it's kind of manipulative, but the thing is, I don't really know what to do other than that. So I will follow this advice, even though it might not be the greatest idea. About the doves, are they here? Mm, well, let's say yes. Although, let's say that I think he lied, because... To be honest, that seems more... Uh, that seems more plausible to me than, than the fact that there were doves literally around here. I think the raven lied. Well, what difference does it make to a blind man? Hmm. So it, if it makes no difference, what about the doves? are they here? Then I guess a raven is here, and if the blind man says it makes no difference, then uh, functionally speaking, I guess you could say the dove is here as well. Sure, they're here. Ah, then let me find a crust of bread, a scrap of meat. I'd rather think of it as bread. For the doves. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh. So. It seems to be ignoring me. I have the meat to feed to the dog. <laughs> Not here. Dog dropped that scrap of metal it had been chewing on. It still looks hungry. Okay, so I might be able to use the. I might be able to use the spike on this. The edges are too tight for me to pull it off with just my fingers. Sliding the spike into the hole might give me enough leverage to pop it open. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so it... Better leave them here. Those are notes for operating the machine. 
goes faster this way. So if I want to slow it, I need to go this way, I think. Let me get a closer look. So I need to go to the right. They seem to move together. Mm. They, but, but they need to stay within the safe ranges. Okay, I think this should work. Guess I've changed some settings. Forgetfulness of every ill. Please. Hmm. It's empty now. Nepenthe. But what if I forgot? Okay, so I'm not supposed to drink it, but what do I do with it then? Okay, there's a phone ringing in here. Now you're wondering, am I losing my mind? No, you're finding it. You've hidden a hard grain of truth beneath smooth layers of lies. A masquerade of metaphors. Here's a metaphor for you. Your mind is a matryoshka. It's just you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And we're here to open you up. Hmm. Okay. But what do I do with the with the drug? Do I give it to the man, maybe? He, he said he wants to forget something. Says. Do you want this, Nepenthe? It's supposed to ease troubled thoughts. No. I will seek forgetfulness my own way, word by word. Mm, okay. So, could I have some more meat? I mean, bread? For the doves. Hmm. Okay, maybe if I feed the dog some more, uh, it's going to relent and allow me to pass. It still looks hungry. I don't think it'll ever stop being hungry. Hmm. Okay, that's a. In... Never met a dog that would take its medicine straight. Hmm. So maybe if I soak a piece of meat in it, it will make the dog forget what it's guarding or something like that. Bread, please. Hmm. 
A knockout marinade. It smells like poppies. It's empty. Stop! Some carny left himself a to-do list taped to the wall in here. Too many winners. Turn up the skull speed. Shut down MOTD. Starfish keeps spitting acid on guests. Find something for Ozzy to chew on. Too many winners. Shut fire. Beware of dog. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Beware of dog. Hey, stranger. Shh, we're supposed to be men. It looks like this is where I would get on the tracks, but there's no train here and no way I can walk up them. Valkyrie. It must be the name of the ride, but I don't see any cars. Mm, so once again, a, a connection with Norse mythology. Three women wearing masks, I think. Who are you? Well, we're sure not Valkyries. Don't let that sign confuse you. And we're not fates, neither, just because there's three of us. That's more Murmur's thing. We're not weird sisters. Even if we are strange. After all, you're a stranger still. Okay, you've said who you're not, but who are you? Just think of us as fragments. Figments! Pigments! Ugh. What? We're here to add color, aren't we? Do you have names? The Three Masketeers! Ugh. Look, I'm sure you mean well, but everybody knows not to give their name to a stranger. What's with the masks? Everyone wears them. You've got one too. What? We all have a role to play. And in this story, there's only room for one woman. That's why we gotta be guys. What's under the mask? Nothing. Legends say it's death to gaze upon a masker, unmasked. But I bet you don't pay attention to foolish gossip like that. Yeah. There's nothing to fear under here. Get it? Ugh. What can you tell me about Murmur? He's got a head for prophecies. What do you mean, I'm wearing a mask? Oh, come on, stranger. You don't really think you escaped from some sanitarium, sporting a retro straight jacket and movie star stubble. We all dress our best to fit what we think the world wants. And in a strange land, it suits a man to be estranged. I met an old scribe under a tree. Ugh, he's the worst. His handwriting's terrible. I wanted A3 to make me a gaggle of bagels. And you don't even want to guess what I wound up with when I showed him the note that old man wrote. Where am I? Well, stranger, I have a feeling you're not in Kansas anymore. Ugh, come on. And not with the one-liners. Fine. You're at wit's end. Just cut the poor guy a break. All right, then. We'll call it the breaking point. Don't let that old crab get you down. Remember what they say. Home is where the heart is. There was a golden-haired woman who... The woman. There's only one of them in your story. We won't judge. Can you tell me anything about her? She's trying to save you. You need to find her. 
you're kind of a Hansel in distress. <laughs> that's a that's a nice uh, switch on the sort of phrase damsel in distress because of, of course um, in in this case I am a man so uh, that needed to be a, a man's name or 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 or, or, a, or a noun to describe a man so so that's kind of nice I like it. Where can I find her? Up, up, and away. What's the deal with that Valkyrie ride? The ride of the Valkyrie, technically. A one-way ticket up. But where's the coaster car? Haven't you ever heard of calling a ride? I can really just call the Valkyrie? Why, so can I, or so can any man. But will it come when you do call for it? You know you can't call her unless you have her number. And we can't help you there. Do you know anything about the dark thing? I'm scared of the dark. While I wait for the dusk. You'll find out soon enough. Can I look under your mask? Can't say we didn't warn him. <laughs> I'm going to die, am I not? Yeah. Well, in all fairness, they did warn me. Kid staring at heaven, when suddenly there's this stabbing pain in his eye. Can't stop himself from crying. And everywhere he looks, everything's ugly, dirty, and dark. Kid runs to the doctor, and the doc checks him out. Doc says, well, Kai, problem is you've got a little shard in there. Kai looks at him and says, but doc, You've got a whole mirror in yours! <laughs> the ride to Valkyrie is currently closed for want of worthy riders. In the future, the ride will return. There has to be some way to catch a ride up those tracks. There has to be What? What did I see under there? You saw the reason why everyone wears masks. I promise we won't ask to look under yours. Goodbye. Yep. Hmm. So we need the number of the Valkyrie to call her? Mm, I don't have any money to pay the, uh, the fortune teller with. Oh no, I didn't, didn't, didn't want to do that. nothing to say to it hmm. I need to put in a quarter it seems to be ignoring me Goodbye. Love becomes loathing if long one sits by the hearth in another's home. Nets. He's just writing down whatever the raven says. Oh, yes, indeed. I can't use this as a work order. I... Constellation. I wonder if I can uh, forge something with this metal spike. Like, obviously it's very small, but 
this place is doesn't exactly run on your regular run of the mill logic so maybe I can it is made of metal so what do I want beak or claws can I combine that, them that's not going to work I can't To make fitting claws will take more than that, Meopian. What about a beak? That's not going to work. Now, step away. Behold the beak. Fit for one who would carve and cut. An ugly steel dagger. It was stuffed with quarters? Tell me about the dark thing. It should have been burnt away, but the fire did no more than shrink it for a time. Goodbye. You have said so before. Okay, so I can pay him. Present? My present. I will tell you the figures. You will tell me the cards. And they will show us their truth. Let us begin. I see you, Quarant. What card shall stand for the man before me? Hmm. Well, they did say I hanged myself, so let's go with the hanged man. The hanged man. Ever wanting wisdom, never knowing where to find it, stuck in time as a sacrifice to himself. The card suits you, but which best befits this place? Hmm. Well, I don't know because I. I don't know anything about tarot, so I don't know what the, those cards really represent, to be honest. Mm. But the Wheel of Fortune does have sort of a carnival ring to it, so... The Wheel of Fortune. Eternally turning. Inescapable. Ever-changing. Tarot. Torah. Otar. Rosa. The wheel. It will do for this strange land. Now, what will you pick for the old scribe you so lately stood beside? Mm. Well, let's go with the magician. The magician. The one that follows the fool, shadowed by the infinite. His hidden bidding is to wield your own wisdom. You would do well to heed the lesson. The Hanging Man. The Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. What do these cards show? A man who outwits himself, lost in liminal space. That infinite, infinitesimal between whence and whither. His well of wisdom has run dry. At the roots of his confidence, and thought and memory blind his mind's eye. That quiet is what it is. 
Wince and wither. Why did you say wince and wither? Isn't that what the head said? Because we ravens know all about the moment between wince and wither. Long, short, it all comes down to the same thing. When living becomes dying. And we get ready to dip our beaks. Goodbye. Mm. Can I ask him again? I am none the magnificent, great giver of counsel. What would you know? Well, let's, let's ask about the future. My future. We will now speak of cards again. Once more, I see you, Quert. What card will serve for the you who is to come? I chose this before, so let's go with the Hermit. The Hermit. Holding a lamp to see, and a staff to walk, but looking only inward, seeking only himself. The card suits you. Which one suits that ride, that Valkyrie, which promises to bear you up to where the great battle awaits? Well, a chariot is something that he used to move, so let's go with that. A chariot. An obvious pick, perhaps, and yet fitting, for it marks an act of decision by the one stuck between the riddles of the Dark Sphinx and the Might. It will do. There is but one more now. The dark thing that lurks above. What is its card? Mm. Well, let's go with death. It's death. Yes, but not the death you seek. The death of will. The death of movement. And yet, perhaps... New beginning. So then, what have we? The hermit, the chariot, death. You will call for three, one ten one, three, and from among the dead will be taken to be born and reborn, to rise, to fall, and rise again. Did you say call? No, he said it. Call for three something something something. Goodbye. Hmm. I called four three one before, but it didn't work. Um, let's try asking him about the past. I am none the magnificent, great giver of counsel. What would you know? My past. We will now speak of cards again. For the final time, Quirant, it is you that I see. What card do you make of the man you were? The fool. Ah, the excuse. An empty-headed vagabond wandering among a fitting choice. And what is the card for where he was? Mm. The world. The final card in the deck. That last perfect moment. The holy union with the sacred woman. A sound selection. And tell me, what card will we lay for her? The lovers? The lovers. Yet it marks not love, Querent, but sacrifice. And a change the heart must embrace. 
And so we have your cards. The fool. The world. The lovers. What shall we make of them? A man who stands blithe and blind upon the very cusp of change, failing to heed a woman's flesh and blood, while making an idol of her. And that grant is what was. Say something about an idle offer? No, that animatronic card sharp did. Or did he say idle afar? The trouble with prophecies is the words have always got a double meaning. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, so this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to save here and continue next time. For now, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.